my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at the new Wavy Blade. So this is for the maker. If you haven't seen my release video, I will link to it in the description below. But we're gonna look more in depth at the Wavy Blade today and we're going to be using fabric. So we're gonna use cotton, we're gonna make some bunting and we're gonna be using iron-on as well. I've got two triangles here and I've got my text here, this is just a child's year font. So I just want to advance and ungroup to letters, I'm more than happy with that. Now with this one, so the purple one, I want to change the line type to wave and you'll see that it stays the same. So it's always going to look the same in design space but when it cuts it's going to have a wave to it. You want to of course make sure that you are set to your maker up here and you'll then be able to get the different line types. The same with the text, I want to change the line type to wave. Again, it's going to look exactly the same but you'll see below it says wave. So I'm going to do that for each of my text pieces. The yellow one I'm going to keep just as a straight cut, so I want a wavy cut and I want just a normal triangular cut. I'm then just going to highlight that and I'm going to duplicate it five times, so I've got five pieces of bunting. I then want to get the most out of my fabric, so I'm just going to flip them and I'm just going to arrange them so that I can get the most out of my fabric piece. I'm then just going to attach all of those together and I'll do the same with the yellow. You'll see the mat one is set as wave, we still need to mirror that because it's iron on. Mat two is going to be cotton but it's set to wave so we need to leave that as it is and the third one is just a normal cut so we can go to continue so there are a few materials you can use with the wavy blade so you've got corrugated cardboard foil poster board craft board glitter cardstock holographic cardstock medium cardstock cotton denim medium fabrics like cotton medium fabrics like cotton bonded felt everyday iron-on glitter iron-on holographic iron-on patterned iron-on crepe paper, deluxe paper, foil paper, pearl paper, shimmer paper, sparkle paper, tissue paper, foil acetate and premium vinyl. So we're just going to use everyday iron on to begin with and it's telling us we need to put our wavy blade in. With the second mat with the cotton we'll need our wavy blade and with the third mat we'll just need our rotary blade. As always with iron on you want to make sure that it is shiny side down onto your mat and you also want to come in with your Cricut brayer and just adhere it to your mat. So I've got the wavy blade here, it's just got a nice wave to it. Again it's part of the quick swap housing so if you've got your scoring wheel already you'll have the quick swap housing so that means you just need to get the tip. If you don't have the quick swap housing you'll need to get the quick swap housing with the tip but then once you have the quick swap housing you can just get the rest of the tips on their own. Really easy to swap them, you just press the button down it will release the tip and then to put the tip back on you press the button down place it back in, release the button and your tip is then on there. As with all blades you want to put it into the B clamp. Now there's a couple of things you need to be aware with this. Because it is a rotary blade it does have some restrictions so you need to think about the size of things that you are cutting. If you're going too small it is going to struggle with it. It is the same as the rotary blade in that it is circular so it moves around in a rotary kind of circular way. So you need to think about the angles you're using and you also need to think about the size of what you're cutting. The other thing is that you cannot do a second pass with this it will not line up because the blade is wavy um, the waves will always be slightly different depending on where the blade starts in, in terms of its position so you're always going to struggle to match up the cut so you cannot do a second pass with the wavy blade
Wow, that is so cool. I just love how it's just got that really nice kind of wave to it and it'll work with images, shapes, fonts, absolutely love that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the wave uh, bunting. So I was going to do this layer with just the normal rotary blade, but actually I really like the wavy blade, so I'm going to do this one in the wavy blade as well. So I'm just going to quickly go and iron on my iron on and sew my bunting together. So we've got our wavy blade here, so the iron on's been used with the wavy blade and both cottons have been used with the wavy blade. It's just fun, right? I mean, it just adds another dimension to your crafting. It means that you can take any shape, any letter, any image, and as long as it's big enough and it's got a, you know, it's not too super, super detailed or it's not too tight in the turns because obviously it is a rotary, as long as the image is clean and it's big enough, you can add a wave to it. You don't need to find something with a wave already to it. You can just get a square use the wave blade and you've then got a wavy square so there's a lot that you can do with this and i think it's just fun as always thank you for watching i hope this has been informative if you've got any comments or questions please put them in the comment section below